Alright, okay, so welcome back. I wanted to make a quick little video, something more laid back. I'm really just going to be talking about my feelings on this particular subject. Not really a specific situation, just focusing in on Ethan Klein as an individual. And really what went down with him, why he's so hated, honestly. You know, a lot of people have talked about this, but I really, I just felt like talking about why I personally think that he's hated. Because I really think that it goes beyond just, oh, his politics. He became so annoying with his politics. I think it grew to like, almost like a, like a superiority complex. Like he just felt, oh, I'm so much better than you because I have these beliefs. And I'm not saying whether he's right or wrong because it's not really the point. I feel like he just had a disregard almost for the fans that got him to that spot to the point of where he was almost like trying to put those people down just to distance himself from them so he could be like hey i i used to be characterized this way but guys i'm a good person you guys like me right it's almost a quentin reviews type of deal where quentin just feels the need to be accepted so much that he'll just disregard certain types of people or characterize a bunch of people as bad people i really think everything changed for ethan once he shifted to politics and when a, a lot of his re audience just realized hey ethan doesn't have the same views as me and while a lot of people probably would have been okay with that he definitely stoked the flames by saying all that stuff you know, when it came to the political landscape and then saying stuff about republicans and then making fun of them when that was a lot of his audience now, I'm not saying that he's, like, going to be hurting for cash or anything, because it's Ethan Klein. I mean, come on. But still, like, it, it doesn't sit right with me. And I, I don't know if I'm the only one who feels this way, but I, I don't think I am. I, I don't think he's a bad guy. I just think that he made the wrong decision and just stuck with it because he felt like, oh, well, it's not negatively affecting me. All right, maybe I'm just just shoot uh, uh, uh barking up the wrong tree yeah that would be the right saying i had to look in my head there for a minute but yeah it's kind of hard to see you know somebody who's so beloved by a com community just completely get turned down by it just because of like one little incident that isn't really that big like it, it's really not that deep but people have just decided to be like okay this is something that's worth my attention and it's, it's really weird to see. So it's really two-sided, really. That's basically what I want to say. A lot of people treat it like uh, it was just completely one-sided by Ethan. And, and his fall from grace was one-sided. But the whole situation, the whole controversy is very two-sided. And I feel like part of, well, a lot of the uh, backlash made him strike out. Because a lot of people can't deal with backlash well. That's just not how they operate. A lot of people can't take criticism well, which is unfortunate because criticism is how you get better. But a lot of people don't understand that. So, yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say. I'm, I'm going to wrap it up here. Like I said, it's going to be a short video. I got a longer one coming out tomorrow. It's rendering right now. So, yeah, it, it'll be dropping tomorrow. All right. Thank you all for watching. I appreciate it. Goodbye.